So this is a follow-up to my automated spotter board with Excel. I tried it again, this time using Google Docs. I, I, I'd rather use Google Docs in a lot of ways. Um, the different, they're, they're pretty similar. Um, there were some goofy things with the way I had to implement uh, things in Google Sheets, but because Google Sheets, you have App Script, um, which is which is pretty flexible. And so I was able to come up with something something pretty cool. So here is an example of the, the spotter sheet. Um, all of this stuff pulls in automatically. And so we've got all of our, you know, all of our, our roster names and their stats for each, for each person. Um, there's some spots to Im include some de more details about a specific person if you have them. Um, coaches information all pulls in, uh, records pull in, you know, we've got our, you know, last four, next four, um, then some more, uh, conference standings. Uh, it's going to highlight the school that is, this is, this is Whitworth. Um, and so they're highlighted so you can pick them out real quickly. And then it gives us, uh, this Northwest conference schedule and, you know, here are the previous 10 games and here are the next 10 games. So you can kind of quickly see uh, what 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 previously happened and what is uh, around the corner. And now if we go into setup and I'm going to change this to Willamette and I'll click right there. And now if I come back to it pops in with all the Willamette stuff and it's slowly populating. Um, it's got everything in there. And what you can see here differently is with the Whitworth one, that was, the, that was, you know, that was the basics. It, it's just going to pull in the basics, nothing fancy. It's all stuff that is found online and we're able to extract from various places. Um, with our stuff, I can store some more, more stuff or for an opponent, I can add more stuff. And so, for example, if, um, if I go into roster home, I basically have these overrides. And so you can see I can override first name and last name with pronunciations. And I can put in, uh, there's a column for notes. I've got four possible notes. And for me, I use note one, I use their uh, their major. And for note two, this is actually pulling in from our awards database. Um, so if they, if they get an award added in, in our database, that will populate there uh, automatically. And so you can see, See, all that stuff populates. Everything is automatic. Um, you know, up here we've got some um, some uh, statistical um, rankings. And, um, you know, the, the first number is the conference ranking, then the pipe, then the national ranking. And so if the conference ranking is two or better, it's going to highlight it in yellow. And so it kind of pops out at you. Um, and then, you know, some, some more just kind of team stats right there. Um, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty convoluted. If I sent it to someone who wasn't super familiar with sheets and something wasn't working, it would probably be hard to kind of figure out what I did. Um, but it's if you know what you're doing, it's fairly straightforward, and it's a pretty quick way to generate these these boards uh, automatically. And I I'm not a play by play person, so it's hard for me to say this is a great layout, a great design. I kind of found one and kind of mimicked it and kind of tweaked it to myself and. Um, you know, a lot of people who do these, these boards are like a work in progress over years and years and years, and they keep iterating and, and making them better. And this was just kind of my first stab as someone who's not a play-by-play -play person, but like figuring out how can we bring that data in and uh, make it easily accessible and uh, easily created. And so if we just, you know, if we just pull this up, we can switch teams again. Let's just go, let's pick another team. Let's go Lewis and Clark. And go back to the shot chart, and that's going to start populating in. There you go. Everything pulls in. And then I can just go print, and there's my thing. I can print it out, and, and we're good to go. So super quick at the, at the basics, and if you want to add more in, you can add more in. But this is uh, just kind of a vacation fun project for me to kind of see if I could make this, make this thing work. And uh, it, I think it came out pretty well. So...